All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Huh. Oh, boy. <clears throat> First, and for, these are, I, I'm vexed in the spirit right now. You know, really vexed. I'm just, just got to say that. But first and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Let's go ahead and read this. And I'm going to play you a quick clip. Okay, let's see. Oh, Second Corinthians 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, what is this ministry? That's the teaching of the word. And we're supposed to go out and we, we, we have been commanded to go out and teach our people their transgressions. Right. So what? So the wedding can be furnished. OK, as we have received mercy, we faint not, not armchair uh, uh, prophets. See, all these prophecies, are, are, prophecies will fix everything. The elder Hawaii just put that video, put that video up by way of video uh, 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 of a brother. His name was uh, 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 Gabar uh, uh, Awar. OK. All right. Prophecy will fix everything. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. But have but what? But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness. And part of what you're getting ready to see is a bunch of craftiness, teaching for hire, nonsense. You don't have to call upon his name. Uh, uh, there's, there's all kinds of things I could go into uh, 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 talking about. Uh, what, did, what did that dude say from Sakari? Talking about that uh, vocab Malone is more honorable than Great Millstone. And that's a base man. That's an Edomite, the lowest or the lowest form of anything on the planet. Hmm. Nor handling the word of the Most High Yahweh deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, condemning what? Con, con, uh, com, commending Salakia, ourselves to every man's conscience, or con, conscience, Salakia, in the sight of the Most High. See? Do you see what that said? In the sight of the Most High. The scripture also said, You shall see thy teachers. And I'm going to say this too. I'm going to go ahead and get this up out of the way. Thy, his teachers are the men. And you, and, and you, you end dubs, you know when you're trying to teach. You know when, you, when you're doing this and you, you know what you're doing. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua's got something for you too. All that pride and arrogancy is going to fly out the door. It's going to fly out the window. Okay? All, it's all going to fly out the window. Verse three, but if our gospel, what? But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You get ready to see some, some lost people right here. Check it out. I'm glad that you're not going to miss this revival. The highly anticipated prophecy, healing and deliverance revival in Atlanta, Georgia, hosted by Apostle Dr. Edison Nottage. Whatever you are faced with right now, and you be like, oh, Lord, look what I'm going through. Oh, look what happened. See that? Do you see this madness? What was the scripture I was just reading? Teaching, uh, teaching nonsense. Here he is, bald headed. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, uh, you know, I cut my hair short sometimes. Like, it's short right now, right? But I, but I ain't bald headed. I still got hair on the top of my head. It, 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 this is a commercial. All these, all these uh, people popping up on TikTok, talking about we got the truth, this and that. Armchair prophets. But ain't saying nothing. And ain't going nowhere. And ain't teaching nobody nothing. I'm vexed in the spirit today. Man, damn this place. All right? And damn, damn these uh, the little TikTokers and all the rest of these people. Because they're not really with it. Okay? They led captive silly women anyway. 
me yesterday. Look what happened to me day before no yesterday. But say, hey, stop complaining and just get down on your knees and cry out. I want to make you a warrior. And prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. God does nothing in this earth except he revealed himself to a man or a woman. Wapa! I want to repeat myself. You can't make this shit up. Look, look, look. It's big, look. big Shirley in the house. Look at her. Uh, looking like a refrigerator. But see, it's not all about that. If you really, if you go into the scriptures and you read the scriptures and you understand what it's saying, it tells you, tells you not, uh, I suffer not for woman to teach. It's in many places. I shut about a Honda, about a bought a Hyundai. What in the world? And she got a yellow thin hair. It's madness. As powerful as God is. I gotta take it back one time. I wanna Listen make this. you a warrior. And prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. God does nothing in this earth except he revealed himself to a man or a woman. Wapa! I want to repeat myself as powerful as God is, as all knowing as God is, as omniscient as God is, as all omnipotent as God is. He will not do anything in the dominion of the earth except the arrest of a man. The last time this revival this was in town, we filled over 5,000 seats. See, that's the whole point right there. Room. We filled over 5,000 seats. But, the, but the, the scripture said in Matthew, the 24th chapter, what did it say? So I'm vexed in the spirit today. I don't, you know, and I don't like, man, it's, it's, it's niggas, man. Look, that's what Esau wants. He set up these damn mega churches and, uh, and Christianity and all that. What? To keep your ass asleep. No, we set up 5,000 seats. So you think about it. Uh, if uh, if everybody in there drops a twenty dollar bill, which is gonna be more than that probably, they teach it for hire. The scripture said, "Buy the truth and sell it not." A, a bunch of armchair prophets, women teaching all uh, uh, these TikTok salakia. I'm upset today. Okay, these are uh, these TikTok. It is this woman said right here. Let's, let's, let me let me let's play a little bit of this. Listen to this. It's lock you. Let me see if I can get this to play loud enough. Anyway, yeah, see, and, 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 it's, and it's dudes like this that think they understand something. And he, he, he again, he knew the name Yahweh Shai. But where'd he learn that from? See, a lot of you are disobedient to your parents. You learned that from, from the, uh, the apostles. You learned that from the bishops. That's where you learned it from. And, and, uh, uh, was it John? Yeah, John 17. It said he had manifest, he had manifested what? His name to his prophets. Okay? But you got this right here. Let's read it. There's a comment right here. Okay? I know I'm sort of all over the place, but stick with me. I'm just, you know, I'm just vexing the spirit. It is what it is. Let the, let, let the spirit roll. This damn... And then here's another end up. Stay away from them. Stay away. Get your ass a northern kingdom woman or, or a damn Edomite, man. Because there's the spirit of rebellion is heavy and strong upon these uh, southern kingdom women. End ups. That's what we call them. It's this person says, you see, the name. And she said, the name is Yah. So he said, how you could trip up these Christians or the, uh, the OT. Uh, uh, only, only people. You can trip them up by just asking them questions. That's all you gotta do is ask a question. So she said this: the name in the uh, pent, penta, penta talk, which I don't know what the hell that is. I think it's, I think it's Torah. Anyway, which is the oldest manuscripts has the name Yah. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's go back here. I'm not, I'm not playing no more. That's madness. So I looked it up. Let's, I, you know, we look up shit, man. All right. I don't even know how you say it. You see, the pent the pentachuch pent pentachuch 
is the first five books of the Bible. You see that? Which, in fact, is the, what, it's the law of Moses, the Torah. All right? Conservative Bible scholars, there we, there we are with that, believe mostly were written by Moses, even though the books in the uh, Pentateuch, I don't even know how to say it, all right, themselves do clearly not identify. Yeah, well, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. The law of Moses. Exodus 31, verse 18. And we're going to get back into what I was really wanting to get into. I just wanted to address this. There's a lot, there's a, there's a lot of women out there teaching, you know, and they half ass teaching. Uh, 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 re up, re uploading, dropping scriptures in comment boards. When he told you, you need to be quiet. Salakia. You need, you need to shut your lip. Be quiet. Through the spirit and power of your high by Shem Shai, he's going to humble each and every one of you. Exodus 31, verse 18. And, and these armchair, I, I tried to play it. You probably can't hear it. You know, these armchair, uh, uh, half-assed prophets that, that don't go out to the highways and byways, don't uh, uh, do uh, daily epistles actually teaching the people, you know, teaching our people. Nah, man, just going along to get along and acting like you know something when you don't know a damn thing. All right? Here at Great Millstone, we got 100% truth according to the scriptures. All right. The scripture said you have an unction from the Holy One and you know of all things. You know, trying to tell me what the, his, his, the name is. Yahweh. What, what, what's the father's name? What's the son's name? If thou can have tell. That's, that's in the Proverbs. You don't know a damn thing. Exodus 31 verse 18. And, uh, and he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of. Of, commu of communing with him upon Mount Sinai. What was he doing up there? What was Moses doing up there? What was the children of Israel doing uh, down in the valley? What were they doing? Worshiping a damn uh, a golden calf. You see? The same thing, an idol. That's how we went a horn. That's how we went the hell off in the first place. And now you got these people talking about, you, know, you got to keep his commandments. You can, and you ain't keeping nothing. You can, you, it's, it's commandments in the Bible that said if you have a rebellious son, you got to take him out to the elders in the city and have his ass stoned to death. The scripture goes into it and said, your wife shall be a harlot in the streets. But the, hey, but it said if she commit adultery against her husband, then, then, then she had to be put to death. <laughs> Try, try that in the Esau's kingdom. Try it. See, that's why you got to be rooted in the Bible. Come up some kind of way, Jake. Goodness gracious. You try that, man. They'll put your ass under the prison, man. <laughs> With him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony. Tables of stone written with the finger of the Most High, Yahweh, which in fact is his name, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And wh who's Yah? What just it was it? A Pookie and Ray Ray across the block? What your cousin and them? You see? And again, trip them up. Ask them. Well, I, I, you know, I asked him it's one simple question: What, what does Yah mean? Well, what does it mean? Because that's a part of his name. And which one are you talking about? Because the video that this armchair prophet on TikTok is going into, and what he say, his name is Shai, which in fact is 100% correct. All right? But you but you ain't see him nowhere on the highways and byways of teaching nothing. All right? So he was going into Yahabashai, which in, what's the, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay? I don't even like to say that. But then you got these women that they'll, they'll sit there on, and agree with each other, and men, you know, <laughs> we'll sit there and agree with each other. It'd be 5,000 people up in, uh, down there in Georgia uh, hooting and hollering and, 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 uh, uh, and, and raising cane, as they say in the South. It's a saying in the South, raising cane, right? About nothing. This one, this one lady said, we ain't going to leave until we get a blessing. And you got a, a woman up there preaching with a thin yellow hair. He gave him two tables of testimony written 
with the finger of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? And that's what's up, man. Let's keep going here. We'll, we'll move on back up here. Let's move to the top. Where's that here? Here we go. Let's read this, man. And we, you know what? And, and, all the way, all the way from uh, the apostles, the elders, the the bishops. You know, all the way down to brothers like me. All the way down, have been telling you. Have been telling you, and you're gonna see. We've been telling you, repent before it's too late. Come back out of all that bullshit that you think you know, and humble yourself. All these prophecies are going to fix everything. It's going to fix it. We're going to, we, we, we'll read some. These prophecies are going to fix everything. So, uh, some of these prophecies, what, what is that? Prophesy about what? Great uh, war and pestilence? We, we've been telling you. R wars and rumors of war, the third woe, nuclear, uh, nu nuclear missiles, Jacob's trouble, the MOTB. I don't see how the hell you people can't see that yet. Or, or, or by now that it, in fact it's a C here why can't you see that because he has blinded your ass so lucky for the language man i'm just vexing the spirit today i'm just rolling 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 uh, let's, let's go isaiah 54 and verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn open rebuke is better than secret love Thou shalt what? Every tongue that rises up against you. And it's clear. It's very, very, very clear. It's abundantly clear who this entire earth, including uh, Hebrew Israelite camps, you know, uh, whatever camp you want to go to, they will tell you, call us the bum camps. All right. They'll, uh, they'll uh, sl slander us, the, the, the grape doctrine and all that. All right, but they won't. They won't go. They won't go to that uh, that stupid. It's, and that's their prophecy revival. They, uh, but they won't go. They won't go there and, and tell them to err in their ways. You do err not knowing the scriptures. They won't go to the ish people, the small headers. They won't go to them. They won't go to vocab Malone and say he wrong. It's it's always great millstone. You brothers can see it. I know you can see it. Okay. Let's read it again. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall raise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage. What does heritage mean? What does heritage mean? Let's look it up. Let's go to, uh, I read that already, so we'll go back. <clears throat> Please excuse me. What does heritage mean? Let's look up the definition of heritage. Okay. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Heritage definition. There we go. Not dental. Heritage. All right. Property that is or may be inherited and inheritance. Go back and read Romans 9 and verse 3. All right. Here's the, uh, the patience and the faith of the saints. But Romans 9 and verse 3 are going into who all these covenants and the heritage and the giving of the law and, uh, and the covenants of whom uh, is, is, is concerning the flesh. Hamashiach and Hamashiach came. Heritage. Valued. Objects. What? Valued objects. All right. Such as cultural traditions. Unspoiled. Slakia. Uh, uh, unspoiled countryside and uh, historic buildings. Blah, blah, blah. Heritage. All right. It's going back up. Let's read the uh, rest of this, because I got a sort of sort of a whole lot to cover here. All right, this is the heritage of the servants. Salakia. That stopped on me. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I don't nobody give a damn about all that. She she posting again. See, but I guarantee you. There it go. But I guarantee you, she she can't answer that question. What does y'all mean? See, br well, break break it down. What does Yahuwah mean? What, what you, you you might be able to break down what Yah means. What's the, what's the Hua? See, you don't know nothing. It's best if you shut your damn mouth. Because no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against against uh, thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord Yahweh. 
The what? The servants. And what are they doing? Giving you, telling you the prophecies. Telling you these things before they happen. To save your life. But if you don't, if you don't want to hear it, that's fine. But, you know, you ain't got to scoff and mock and do that, all that. But, hey, in the last days, this shall happen. That's prophecy. Uh, prophecy. Hey, the prophecies will fix everything. Let's go here. This is, what, this is what's going on here. This, I'm going to read it in the, uh, in the NLT. Okay? In the N to the L to the T. That's what I'm going to read it at. Isaiah 59 and verse 14. All right? Our courts oppose the righteous. And justice is nowhere to be found. Truth stumbles in the streets. Did you hear what that said? Truth stumbles in the streets. Where's the, where is this word being taught? As we were commanded to do so. Is, is, that our, is that our reasonable service, brothers? Is that our reasonable service, brothers? The scripture said it was. It says that's our reasonable service. But the armchair prophets... You know, teach uh, uh, got their hair lined up, bald, no beard. Talking about talking about the the Jebus. Yeah, that's a damn idol. See, when you when you say that word, it, it, it brings up demons. Okay, a brother a brother told me that when he was in the church, and you know, they and they'd be saying that word, basically chanting that word over and over and over again. Man, these demons come on these people. You saw it in that in that clip I played. These people are, these, uh, uh, man, their spirits jump on people, man. They're tr uh, see, truth stumbles in the streets and honesty has been outlawed. You see that? Honesty has been outlawed. That's why I wanted to read it in the NLT. Honesty, uh, picture that. Put that in your mind and think about that for a moment. Honesty has been outlawed. See, everything's turned upside down, as the scripture said, right? Surely the, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. <laughs> Verse 15. Yes, truth is gone. And anyone who renounces evil is attacked. There you have it. You see, it's what attacked. And, and, and it's, it's, it's a spiritual attack. On the, on the great millstone brothers and the brothers that teach the likewise doctrine. As it says, see, you, you're not going to hear me speaking of nothing that's not in the scriptures. Not adding or taking away from it. It is what it is. This is our manual. This is how we understand the, 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 the answer to everything is right here. Okay. The answer to everything. She, she, she got back. I don't know what she said. And I really don't give a damn what she said. Uh, uh, Job 39 and verse 17. He didn't give her no knowledge in the first, but see, they don't read it. They just skip over them. I, 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 it's just, this is mind blowing. <laughs> Matthew 24, 24th chapter right there. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. What endureth until the end? But, but with our enduring, even our light infirmities, we're supposed to be teaching. And he gave you a he gave us a platform, which in fact is every highway and byway that's out there, the chief place of concourse. The main platform is what? YouTube. The internet, his line went out to the four corners of the earth. Then the end shall come. His line. Verse 14. And this gospel, what? The gospel of good news. The comforting of the scriptures. What's the good news? That Israel shall be saved. World without end. That's in John. That's in St. John, Salakia. That's, that's, that's good news right there. That's very confident to me. <laughs> and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Where, 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 why, why all nations? See, see, brother. It said right there, all nations are going to learn. No. Why all nations? Because we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. And for the, for the, uh, the most part, uh, the uttermost part of the earth, which in fact is America, Babylon. That's the uttermost part of the earth. The west, the west side, west side, 
See? Okay? I mean, it's, it's all right there in the scriptures. But, you know, it's the, uh, that pride and that uh, uh, deep demon, it's going to get you uh, caught up and killed. It's going to get you snared up and messed up in your own head. <laughs> and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. The end of what? The end of an age. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. In Ezekiel, by the hands of my people. You're going to have a two-edged sword in you. I, I just quoted about three, four scriptures. It, it said, blesses is he that readeth. Okay? See that? Do you see what's going on here? It's your how about him, y'all? Shy got you blunt. His name is His name ain't no y'all. You act like he's just one of your buddies from, a, uh, from, from a round, around the way. <laughs> like what that, what that song? <laughs> By that, uh, he's a mo too. What's his name? LL Cool J uh, from Around the Way, girl. Yeah, <laughs> uh, come on, man. You see? Well, no, no, let's read. Let's, uh, here, here, here's a prophecy. And when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the what? The prophet. Daniel, the prophet. Where are you hearing these words? How does Yahweh Bashim Yahweh speak to his people? Via the prophets. In pursuant to uh, Peter, 1 of verse 68 through 70, 71. You have a more sure word by way of what? The scriptures, the prophets. You, you wouldn't even know the uh, Yah if, if you wouldn't even know that. You, would ha you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. But we've been we've been telling you. Let, let, let's read it. Let's read some more. The prophecies will, will fix everything. That's beautiful. When ye, this is red letters too. Who's speaking? Yahabashai, not Yah, not Yahushua. Who the hell is that? Damn sure ain't Jebus. Mm. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the by Daniel the prophet. Stand in, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Whoso what readeth, let him understand. But what again? Let's go back. Let's go back to Job. Let, let, let's go ahead and grab that scripture. We'll go on back up. Let's go ahead and grab that right there. Let's, let's see what it says. Job. Let's see. Was it thirty nine? Yeah, verse uh, thirty nine. It's so like in chapter 39 and verse 17. What does it say? We get into KJV. What does it say? Did, did, did he? Let's read it. Like to hear about it? Here it go. Job 39 verse 17. Because the Most High Yahweh have not departed her of wisdom, uh, deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. What does that mean? That sh she don't know nothing. You, you're, better, you're better off asking your husband at home if you have a question. And if you go, uh, I didn't realize it's one dumb dumb. <coughs> Salakia, please excuse me. Call hello, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. Posted a comment or a, a scripture on the comment board. Now, uh, come on, man. You know that. You know you're trying to teach. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. And then said, well, I didn't, I, I wasn't under the impression that a, a quoting a scripture was trying to teach. Yeah, you were. You a damn liar. Yeah, how about Shimei Al-Shah said he, don't, he hates liars. And pride, pride goeth before destruction. I'm vexed in the spirit today, brothers. I am vexed in the spirit today. Where the hell was I? It's way up here, wasn't I? Here we go. So lucky these dogs, man. Acting. Yeah, let's read this. Second Ezra, six of verse twenty-seven. You know, these the same people, and it's, there's so many, it's so many videos. You know, these social media demons and the TikToks and the the, the you know the damn one and two and three minute videos. You, that, that's you know. Call hello, you how about Shimmy? I was shy. I can't wait to get the hell up out of here. You know, just just talking about nothing when they think they got some understanding. But 
They, they, you know, you're not you're not getting it. The whole breath of the word, the whole the ain't the whole row. Get all into this thing right here, baby. Get all into it, man. Second Ezra six and verse twenty seven. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. What's the was the earth given into the hand of the wicked? Are not these people evil as hell? Look at what they're doing. Are they not evil and wicked? We said it's, it's gonna be put out. Isaiah 60, uh, 63rd chapter said, Yahweh Shai going to come and he's going to have blood all over his garments. Why, Lord? Because of the people he's going to be taking out. But when you put that vibe, that y'all Israelites, them y'all singles, uh, uh, that dreaded JC, you put that uh, vibration on the people, man. Man, man fuck Jesus, man. Salakia, that name, that name, that's what I mean. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't give it, I don't, I don't give a damn. If you want to click off, click off. Verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. What at faith? The just shall live by faith. Okay. You know, and all the, and all the rest of you that uh, uh, his name, you, know, you don't know what his name is. You don't know what it, you have no fear of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. The brother I don't want to buy, he said something the other day and it, and it stuck with me because I've been feeling the same damn way. And damn what we feel is the truth. The scripture said judgment must begin at the house of Israel. You, you, it's you, you Judas goats and, and, and you uh, you people that didn't want, I, I, I'd like to get my, my hands on you first. Verse 28, as for faith it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And you hear it week in and week out, week in and week out. And we told you, we told you all that pride and all that. Uh, 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 I'm not teaching. I mean, you, you, you full of shit. You a liar. And you, how about Shem Yashai is going to off you for that. He's going to take you off this planet. And no, you ain't going to hell neither. That's a whole nother lesson. You big dummies, man. Psalms 85 verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. What, how, how is this truth springing out from the earth? Where is it? Where is it springing out from? It's from springing out from the holy scriptures that the men on the highways and byways are teaching the people. Truth shall spring out of the, the truth. That has been so long without fruit. After three days and a half, he has woken us up in, in, in pursuant to Revelation 11th chapter. That's why great fear has fallen upon these people. See, half of this, half of this is pride, you know, and the other half is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is fearing that we, maybe we're telling the truth. You know, but you uh, you going to try to jump the bandwagon. That's why in Malachi, it tells you that seven women are going to take hold of one man. And seven is the number of completion. What to take away our reproach. Huh. Let's read it again. Truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Righteousness, man. OK, Amos eight and verse eleven. Let's go here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to make it, but I'm just rolling through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Damn this place and everybody who, uh, uh, who don't, we don't give a damn if you agree or not. The scriptures are very plain upon tables. We don't care if you agree. Can two walk together except they be agree? The answer is hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. The answer is no. And there's and the no use for gimmicks. There's no use for grandstanding. None of that. The truth shall abound. Amos 8 verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but hearing the words of the Most High Yahweh. You know, in, the, in that day when you wondered about this and you wondered about that, 
them, them same, them same st stupid uh, ninjas, as you call us, the uh, the, the bum camp. You gonna be look, you gonna be looking. How about some y'all shot? You, we don't know if he go, he gonna take it all away. We don't know if he, this whole system might shut down. The grid is gonna shut down. You see, everything might shut and and, and just be and just be gone. You people, there was people that was losing that damn mind when Facebook shut down for th three hours. You think you ready for Jacob's trouble? You better get your damn house in order. See, it's a family. And we, and we told you, we, we, the, the scriptures keep telling you, he's knocking at the door. Can you not? Can you hear it? He said, look up for your redemption, draw us nigh. But you got ninjas teaching about, we're going to escape Babylon on some damn boats. Get out of here, man, with all that. Acts 3 and verse 19, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the time of refreshing, what is refreshing? You know, that refreshing, uh, bringing the understanding back to us. Okay, the I self shall come from the presence of the Lord. When two or three are gathered together, he is in the midst of them. Do you hear what the scripture just said? When two or three are gathered together, you know what? And we, we, we prove all these things. We prove all these things. Okay, let's get it. All right. Oh, there it is right there. That's, that's a perfect. That's a perfect precept right there. All right. Let's get it in the KJV. Here we go. KJV. All right. Here we go. We'll just read it right here. Here it is. Matthew 18 and verse 20. For when two or three are gathered together in my name. Uh-oh. Proverbs 30 and verse 3 through 4. What does it say? What is what is his name? What is his son's name? If thou canst tell. You see? Look at Brother Aria. The love of many shall wax cold. That's right. Okay? We ain't got no time to put pussyfoot around. These prophecies are will fix everything. Alright? Let's read it again. For when two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So let's go back to what I was reading. So, Lucky, I've got a whole lot of precepts. A whole lot of precepts pulled up. And that's a good thing. You know, Acts 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Do you see that? All right. So, Lucky, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, just bear with me. I'm going to make sure it's still recording. All right. The water to you. How about Shem Yahweh was still recording. Let's continue on. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. What does this say? It said wisdom and knowledge, right? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You see, this truth is bugging these niggas out, man. It's bugging them out. Going into uh, 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 all these different books, the, uh, uh, all these, all this different madness, trying to uh, trying to get some esoteric knowledge deep. Uh, the hotep, uh, 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 I'm an Egyptian. You everything, and, and, uh, even even some of you the the head wraps is too tight. You know, even some of you ones who who even understand, you know that uh, that Esau is the so-called white man. All right. The devil the Bible speaks of. Yeah, uh, who the world eagerly calls uh, Jebus. His name is Yahawashai. All right. And he's a so-called black man of what? From the tribe of Judah. Or Yahawada. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, Jacob and Esau were brothers. The world, the, uh, the world is, or not the world, but, you know, America going to be burned with, with fire by 200 million missiles. Even some, even some of them that know these things still what always, always reject the gospel. And the ones he sent to teach you this. But here it says, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. So people are getting more, it's more and more and more they learn it, and more and more they watching. 
probably other camps, different people, the, the ish, the, the 1948ers, or whatever the hell they're doing. They're getting more what? Un, what? Unstabilized. Okay? I, I'm not sure if that's a word. Salaki, if it's not. All right? Unstable. They're getting more unstable. They're not sure-footed. All right? But knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. That's why he said, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Did we not just read, It's going to be a famine of the word? Man, God, what happened to them brothers out there? Man, I know we, they sounded crazy, but not, but not so much now. Oh, prophecies are going to fix everything. And strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Did you hear that? The fear is his treasure. So that's what that's one of the main steps right there. And knowing his names is, is also one of the keys. You know, and I'm quoting that from Apostle Tahar. It, and it is one of the keys. You can clearly see this. That's one of the keys, man. Come on, Jake. Zechariah 3, verse uh, 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, which is a people before it's a place. What are we watching for? What are we, what are we doing? Prophesying. Telling you what's getting ready to happen uh, before it happens. <laughs> Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. We are warning you, even you yas and all that. I, I, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm just saying that right now. But you can't say, you cannot say that you didn't hear the truth and you didn't hear the word. Why? Because you're too damn proud. <laughs> you're too proud. What was that song? I ain't too proud to beg, but you ain't too proud to go to Egypt for help. You ain't you uh you uh you, you, you going the hell off, man. John 3 and verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Uh-oh. What did you hear that? A, a fool hates reproof. But secret, uh 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 Salakia. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Call hello, you how about shimmy out shy. All right. All right. But uh uh open rebuke is better than secret love. Why how why if we doing this because we love you. As a matter of fact, if you're not doing the will of your how about shimmy out shy, if you're not sitting back and listening as a as an aquath to your husband doing right by your head, if you're not uh, you know, and everybody we understand everybody's not a prophet. You know, maybe even some that's on the highways and hedges. You know, everybody's not a teacher or whatever. But if you've been called and you know who you are. If you have been called. You got to get your ass out there and teach, man. That's what's up. All right. This is red letters, too. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light. Neither. And, and see, they don't even consider that they do evil. Why? Because they're too damn proud. They don't even consider it. it says that in uh not Obadiah Salakia Isaiah uh one of verse three they don't even consider but the ox and the ass know their owner <laughs> come to the light lest his deeds be reproved okay but he that doeth truth cometh to the light it does that word truth again that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought. In the most high Yahweh. You see? His what? His deeds. So, and, this, and these are not just little slips of the tongue. These people are consciously putting up videos and, and, and doing this and saying uh, the, the truth. And you, uh, you celebrate, you celebrate Christmas. It's going to be, it's going to be your last one. Or, because he told us not to eat pork. pork. We understand that. And everybody's at a different level of understanding, right? All right. But the scripture said, I made haste and delay not to what? Keep his commandments. That's to the best of your ability. Because, uh, because we're in a grace period. Okay? We're in a grace period. All these other camps tell me, you got to keep, keep the command. Keep, and they don't be doing it. 
that's a that's a definition of a hypocrite, man. A, a, a double-minded man is what unstable. <laughs> what I say just a minute, I said unstabilized. You know, come on, man. Ezekiel three verse twenty six, and I will make my tongue cleave to the roof of the mouth of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be able. To, uh, let's read it again. Let's read it from the top. Salakia. There's the brother right there. Okay. Ezekiel 3 and verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cling, cleave to the roof of thy mouth. If your tongue is clinging to the roof of your mouth, you know, like you got some peanut butter in your mouth or something, right? That means you can't speak. You, you can't. That means that it's, it's, it's going to be gone. You, let's read it. Let's read it. All right. That thou shall be dumb and shall not be uh, to them a reprover. For they are a rebellious house. Let's look this word up. Reprover. Okay. Let's copy it. I'm just going to cheat right quick. Oh, it was in here. Right here. I can go right here with it. All right. All right. Uh, it's like a reprover. I should be looking this up. I need to be looking this up in the. Uh, in the blue letter. It's like you. Let's get. Let's do that. Let's type in blue letter. Blue letter Bible. I may have to do that separately. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that. Reprover. Blue letter Bible. I wish my app would work right, but I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. Satan, that's all it is. Just Satan, man. All right. Let's type this word in. Reprover. Okay. Woo. Let's go here. All right. Reprover. It's like it. It's taking me a while to get to it. And reprover. H31. 98. Okay. <laughs> Again, like the brother said, I done fired him. All right. To prove, deceive, judge, rebuke, reprove, correct. Be right. Did you hear what, the, did you hear what that said? Correction is grievous to a fool. Now, we're not outright calling you a fool, but the scriptures do. You know, you, uh, you, you won't listen because you think you're right. But the scripture said, prove all things. It's receipts right here. That's why we go in and we look up words. All right. To decide, judge, to, uh, to uh, adjudge, appoint, to show, to be right, prove. To convince, convict. All right. What is it? Well, convict. You convict somebody, you know, to under to understand what the hell is going on. And ultimately, Yahweh Bashimi Alashai is the one who puts the understanding in your mind. But you cannot say you didn't hear the word. All right. There's a bunch here to uh, correct and rebuke, man. To be chastised, chastised. It's like it. To reason, reason together. To argue. OK, all this is right here in the scripture. You know, it's a rebellious house, a reprover. You see, he's going to make our tongue cling, cleave to the roof of our mouths. It's a family of the word coming. You better, you better, you, know, you better get it while it's hot. You better strike it while it's hot. Malachi 4 verse 1. For behold, uh oh, all these prophecies are going to do. It's a prophecy right here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to clean it all up. It's going to fix all these things. Right. Let's read it. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. That's a prophecy. And all the proud, is that word pride, proud, yea. And all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that, that cometh shall burn them up. Saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Now roots dig deep into the earth. That means and the mountains and the hills are going to be flattened. What can do that? You want to read more about the prophecies? Let's, let's, let's go. What can do that? Let, let, let me show you what can do that. Hmm? Okay. Uh-oh. Salakia. Let's, let, let's read what can do that. Zechariah 14. And verse 12. What can do that? What's going to make 
What's going to make uh, uh, the earth reel to and fro like a drunkard? What's going to do that? Let's read it. It's right here. It's right here in the scriptures. Blessed is he that read it. Let's see. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. You, 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 you shall, the, we shall discontinue from our heritage. That's in the scriptures. You forgot who you was, right? Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Did you forget who you were, Jake? Hmm? Well, the, uh, Jebus is the only one, and, and I'm going to worship him. They, uh, they showed you that in that show Good Times. You remember? He, he looked like Ed the Wino. And they said Yahabashah was a wine bibber. If there ever was a people that needed saved, it's us. Y'all brothers remember that. You know, what did Florida ever say? Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> no, nah, man. She said uh, in that show, it was the good times. Yeah, that show, good times. That's an old school show right there. You know, but she said, uh, the only Jeebus I've ever known is that one. Yeah, you, yeah, she talking about the golden retriever. You know? Well, let's let's read this plague right here. Let's read the prophecies are going to fix everything. Leave them neither root nor branch. Lay down. We're going to go back to that too. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away as they stand upon their feet. Ask Sarah Connor about that. Terminator to the chopper. Ain't going to be no to the boat. Ain't going to be none of that. Huh? All right. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass. What did that say? It shall come to pass. It's a prophecy. It shall come to pass that in the day that that a great tumult, a great shaking from the Lord Yahweh shall be among them and they shall lay hold everyone on the hand of his neighbor, which is your brother. And his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. You're going to be fighting each other. It's, it ain't going to be uh, uh, no argument. It ain't going to be no uh, 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 reproof. Reprover about uh, uh, his name is y'all. Nigga, his name is Slakia. Slakia. Let me slow down. I'm just vexing the spirit today. Ninja, his name, his name is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we, you know, if you don't want to believe it, that's fine. We don't give a damn. You talking about you can you can call him a, a plate of fish, John the Black. You can, yeah. Uh, 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 what what did Nate say? How about Jimmy Hashai? You already know. All right, y'all getting ready to get you going. You gonna get punished for all this, man. All this madness. Where the hell was I? Um, Salakia. See, I done lost my damn train of thought. I done messed around. I was right there in Malachi. That's where I was. All right. Let's read it again. For the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. That's ashes. All right. Leave them neither root nor branch. I done read that already. We'll jump on down. <clears throat> Salakia. A little heartburn. That, the heartburn sucks. But you know what's, you know what's really going to be bad? When, when the real burning comes along. See? <laughs> but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And that's not talking about literal wings. He's going to cover us. What is that covering? We're going to be in this barn watching the indignation. Watching this place get flattened like a damn pancake. This is the lake of fire. Read, read, read the scriptures. But what does it say? It said to fear his name. With healing, I had a vision about that. A dream, if you will. And that fire was hot. It was, it was hot. It was waves of fire. But he was, he, he had his wings over me. He, he, he had me covered. 
and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. What, what is, what, uh, Salakia? Let me fix this back. My other phone shut off on me. Uh oh, here we go. Here you go, start recording. Okay. All right. And wh where do calves grow up? In stalls. In a barn. This man, come on, man. I won't make this too much longer. Jeremiah 51, verse 28. Prepare against her the nations. Damn it. What in the world is going on here? That's just Satan. Come on. There we go. I'm recording. I'm recording on both phones because you never know. Say, you say, you say, I, I, that pisses me off when that happens. It'd be a good lesson and you got, got to redo it. But that's all right. Keeps you sharp. Jeremiah 51, verse 28. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. All right, all right, Salakia. I got cut off there. All right, let's go ahead and continue recording on that one. And we'll see, we'll see what it do. All right, whatever. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Jeremiah 51, verse 28. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. Who the Medes, man? Who are them Medes? It's some damn Russians. There's a country over there. Uh, uh, the, uh, Brother Amawana Bar brought it out. Medium. All right. All right. The, capt uh, the captives thereof and all the rulers thereof and all the, uh, all the land of his dominion. See? Of his dominion. And the land shall uh, tremble and sorrow. See that? For every purpose of the Lord Yahweh shall be performed against Babylon. To make the land of Babylon desolate without an inhabitation. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Well, what? And what else? Boom, boom, boom. Without inhabitation. Leave them neither root nor branch. But the what? Righteous shall scarcely be saved. Come up hither and hide yourselves for a little while. See? All these is in the scriptures, but people don't want to listen. Uh, these prophecies will do what? These prophecies will fix all things. Woo! Tenth part of the city fell, right? Let's go here. How I many? The tenth part of the city fell. It's ten FEMA zones. You see it right here. It's ten FEMA zones. It's right there. Okay. I just so happen to be in Numbre Four. It's the, the tenth part of the city fell, and all the enemies, and I, every, every damn one of them, should go into captivity. That's what it said right here in Jeremiah thirty verse sixteen. Didn't it say that? Didn't it say that? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get, I'm getting ready to close out. Let's see what. Uh there's a couple more. No, I already read that. Okay. Ooh. Second Kings 17 and verse 13. Yet the Lord Yahweh testify against Israel and Judah and Eslachia and against Judah by the prophets. <laughs> and by all the seers. Saying, turn ye from evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all, uh, all the law which I command your fathers and, and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. See that? Not the, one, not the armchair prophets. Not the one that's got just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And they mix it all up in a blender and it comes out. Uh, 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 dregged you know look that word up the dregs of the cup that's the bottom the tailings see and it comes out all nasty no it's gotta be it's gotta be pure 100 percent truth that's what's up giving all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem rakaha kwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone of whom I learn from daily, healthy shalom to the brothers, the the true brothers that are out there teaching the word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to you. Shalom to the aqua that's patiently listening, sit back, listen to their husbands and doing the right thing according to the scriptures. Shalom to all of you. Hopefully this lesson was edifying yet again. Okay? Every chance you get, chant this place down because you know what? The prophecies are going to fix everything. Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom! Shalom.